Between 78 and 44 BCE, the Roman Republic grew to the largest republic in the world, based on the idea that the land should never be ruled by a king. When Julius Caesar died, his great-nephew, who was his adopted son Octavian, waged war against Mark Antony in what was essentially imperialism overthrowing republicanism, and Rome was reduced to a mere city. The newly formed Roman Empire began to spread, first throughout Italia and then into the islands of Corsica and Sardinia. The Roman Empire fought against resistance, but took land in modern-day Croatia and Spain. The Romans quickly spread their land throughout the southern parts of Europe, the northern parts of Africa, and the western parts of Asia. As they continued to claim land, more and more countries and tribes resisted them. Laws came to pass stating any resisting survivors of battle were to be forced into slavery with an opportunity to be released over time. The Romans did little in the way of spreading their own culture, but influenced the cultures of conquered countries and reintroduced them to the world as a collection of Rome. Art forms, sports, even religion were all given new origins where Rome was the forefront of all that was good. To this day, Roman influence is seen throughout the land where the Roman Empire once stood. While the Roman Republic at its peak stood at 3,861 square miles, the Roman Empire grew to 1.67 million square miles across three continents. Finally, in 476 CE, the Roman Emperor Romulus was overthrown by Odoacer, a German barbarian, who basically allowed the Roman Empire to fall of its own accord, having no willing leader to hold all the separate lands together. As the empire began to crumble, Rome separated into an eastern kingdom with Constantinople as its capital and a western kingdom with the city of Rome as its capital, until eventually even those kingdoms broke apart.